How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the jar. Now if you are new to the channel or new to the series and you want to understand the technical side of streaming or how to grow, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other videos on the channel and don't forget to also follow me on my other networks as well as subscribing to the channel. So today, like I said, I want to go ahead and show you how to set up the jar. So what we're going to do is create a scene, go to the plus, Go over here under widgets, click on the jar and click add source, give it a name, add source. So this is basically the jar. So as you can see, I just had my logo just drop on down and I'm going to explain how all that works in just a moment. So the very first thing I want to let you guys know is this right here, the width and height, you don't have to worry about. Same thing with the, the FPS, you don't have to worry about that at all. Now you can choose from a list of different types of jars or glasses, however you want to call it. And once you find the one that you feel comfortable with that you want to use, then let's move on down to the jar source settings and everything. So you can set it up depending on what you're streaming on. It's going to give you different options, right? So you're going to want to select whichever ones you have that you want to be able to use to fill the jar up with, whether it's follows, hosts, bits, subscriptions, etc. Now for the font settings, if you want a name to go across the screen whenever something is being uh, donated or host or whatever, and you want to see that kind of go across the screen before that little tiny icon drops down, then you can go ahead and click on show text, give it all this other information, make sure you have the right font that you want to use and the color and font size. If you don't want to do that, like me, I don't really care for that because I just feel like it takes up too much space. So then you can go ahead and mess with the different types of coins and stuff that you want to use, whether it's you have emotes or maybe you just want to keep it generic and use actual coins and stuff like that. But you can change the media. You can use their own photos. You can add your own photos and everything like that. So you definitely have a little bit of flexibility with that. And then for the source, I don't touch any of this, but if you do run into any problems with the actual source itself, go ahead and click on the refresh cache and everything like that. And then it will go ahead and kind of clean it up a little bit for you. Now, once you start seeing people using this, you can go ahead and kind of see how it works for yourself. So if I hit follow and we'll give it a moment and then you can start to see that it will drop down. Now, normally if I was to have the text and everything and we go with that, then we can go ahead and test it again and then we'll test this and then you should be able to see that the name goes across and everything. I personally don't really like that so it's really a matter of preference for you if you like something like that. But that is pretty much how you set that up so once you are okay with how it is you can click done and that is how it's on the screen. Now if you're wanting to resize it you just go to these little white boxes on the corners here and go ahead and do a left click hold. And then if you drag in or out, it will make it smaller or larger. And that way you can move it around and everything like that, make it the size you want it and everything like that too. And whenever you make the size for it, whatever size it's gonna be is, it's not gonna have it where the actual like coin or whatever, it's not gonna be misaligned with the actual jar. So. You can have it super, super small like this if you really wanted to, and it would still fit right here. So you can make it as large or as small as you need to, and that way it works best for your own design. But that is pretty much how you set up the jar, very simple. And like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, new to the series, wanted to learn about the technical side of streaming or how to grow, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on my other networks, which are in the video description below, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the comments.